So, look what we got here today. This is called, if I pronounce it correctly, the Morocco SS01 suspension stem. Right, and I thought I'd give it a little, give it a little crack. Not a lot on the box. Some barcodes and stuff. It cost me 30 quid or just over now I can't open the box how did I open it uh, I got it it's always the way there we go. got yourself some uh, instructions here about how to change the springs and things but there it is that's what you get in the box So it looks like a it's, it's quite a hefty thing you know it's not stupid heavy but <clears throat> it's uh, quite a weight got a tor torsioner here so I guess that's to swap the springs out so it's got a blue spring in there at a minute and you got all these different colored springs so obviously they're different strengths well, I thought the red may have been the toughest one. Oh, but I don't know. That one looks, uh, the green looks quite tough. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a go for a bike I'm building, but I'm going to test it on one of my old bikes, on my Norco first, just to see if I like it. And if not, I'll put full suspension on it, or rather full front air suspension. But yeah, I thought I'd... Uh, Venture because on a, the new project I'm doing, what I've got coming up, I'd like to leave the actual fat bike forks on it because they look sweet. You'll see what I mean when I come to do the bike. But yeah, about 33 quid I think it was delivered from AliExpress. It looks like they give you an Allen key down in here and some other stuff. I'll get it out. It's a bit tough. Oh yeah, two Allen keys. So I guess this must be, I don't, I'm not sure what that's for, but yeah. So I'll have a good look at the old instructions later and uh, have a look. But anyway, I'm gonna fit this to the bike and uh, give it a try. And uh, you know, just see what we think, eh? Get back to you in a second when I got it on. But uh, here's the instructions. I'll hold it as slow as I can. Try and keep it steady. I don't think you'll be able to read it from there. But if you get one, it all sort of uh, makes sense. They actually are designed for gravel bikes. Well, I use my bikes mainly for road and going up the odd track. So, you know, it might be perfect for what I want and to save you know having to put forks on it and adding more weight to the bike so this is like a fraction of the weight this is a fraction of the weight of uh, you know a set of forks so you know it's well worth a try just to give it a give it a go really anyway let's see how we get on eh so here you go Here it is working up. Don't worry, we'll see it that good. I'll try and put some more weight on it. It works really well. What I'll try and do is get a better angle that you can see it. How's that? And if I put the front brake on. Now that is way too soft for me. But you've got to remember as well, you've got no dampener on these. It's just the spring. But I think it's going to work well because it actually goes down just like a fork. It doesn't go forward. 
you can get a dearer one and it actually goes forward. I'll grab an Allen key and show you how simple it is to take apart. So basically, you just put your Allen key in there, like so. Just turn it this way. It is a bit awkward for me because I'm doing this one-handed. So when you've got it down so far, I'll just put the key over there a minute. You can turn it by hand, but be ready because you see a drop when you get on the last bit. Right, see that it'll drop like that and just lift the spring out and there you have it real simple idea so let's see which spring that one would be ah, so that is like spring two I would guess wouldn't you yeah I would say that's spring two looking at the thickness so you've got a red one and a green one. So I'll fit the red one now and uh, see what that's like. As you can see, watching a really good YouTube channel there. But yeah, let's fit this one and let's see what that's like. So all I did to fit it, fit the other one, is lift it back. It's got a place where it fits inside there. That's him, he's on that. And it's dead straightforward to do. You just lift it back, get it screwing on. And then I need two hands proper of this. Like if you get one I would suggest doing what I'm doing I screw up as much as I can by hand before I go to the Allen key obviously with these tougher springs in it's going to be a lot harder but it's really not hard at all and that's it you can't over tighten it they've, I don't know what, how they've done it but they've done it in such a way that when you get there you know you're there so let's see what this one's like. Well, that one's much stiffer. That one is much stiffer, that one. So that one might do me. Because <clears throat> it's only to take the vibration out. That noise, by the way, was my disc right there. Basically, I'm going to give this one a try before I change any other springs and see if it's too stiff or, or too soft. But the blue felt really nice, but it's uh, knowing which one. Yeah, so uh, I'll take him for a ride and we'll see what he's like. Okay, before I go for my ride, <coughs> I added a like uh, it's a sealed washer really but we call it a shim so I shimmed it out that much and I've got the red one in and that feels really nice to me here it feels like I'm actually using a set of forks but with about 20 to 30 mil play on them I don't know whether I can do it from here so you can actually see no I can't press it can't press it hard enough and hold the camera but um yeah basically i'm using these they got their they're for like sump nuts or some sort of thing got a rubber seal in the middle but yeah they do the trick nicely not sure what that washer is called if someone knows what it's called st stick it in the description you know but yeah but i will put a link to the to the uh, item in the description because uh, if this works on this bike, as you can see, it's rigid forks on this one at the minute. So if it feels nice, then uh, that will definitely be going on my next project, project, which is what I've got it for. I'll show you my 
next project there was you quick enough <laughs> anyway let's get out and give it a blast and then i'll tell you what i thought of it So tempting to ride across that field but it's all wet and i don't fancy getting wet i've got no mud guards only the one protecting my back foot down there that's all yep this is worth every penny i've just come over some quite um heavy bumps and stuff if it had a damper in there it would be the ultimate without a doubt you know, look, I put this little spacer in, like shim or whatever you want to call it, just so I got a lot of play. Because if I do it right up, I've only got about 10 to 15 mil with this. I've, I think I've got about a mil of play, something like that. But it is perfect absolutely brilliant and i haven't bought it for this bike i've bought it for my next build so i can keep my nice colored forks with it i do have like you know full shock absorber system to go on there if i don't like it or if i fancy a change at a later date but nah this here is fantastic yeah, I'll leave the red one in there and I'll leave the washer on because it rides really nice. So, uh, yeah, really chuffed with it. But, yeah, I've got it on my Norco for now. As you can see. Just out for a nice early ride before it gets too busy out here. But yeah, really, 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 really chuffed with this. Definitely worth 35 quid. Or it's around 30 odd pound. I'll put a link to the description in, in the description to where I got it. I got it off Ali. Uh, there is a more expensive brand, but it's like something like a couple under a quid. And it does exactly the same stuff. You know, so. I, 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 it's hard to pronounce the name, but it's Mad Madrika or Madroka or something like that. Anyway, let's just call it fantastic for the price. And it is absolutely fantastic for the price. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe out there. And get out and ride.